Hey guys, welcome to another jazz tutorials. I apologize in advance for my voice. I am kind of sick at the moment, but I really couldn't leave you guys hanging without a video. So I'm doing my best to upload a video that's awesome for you. So hopefully you can understand what I'm trying to say and whatnot, and hopefully you like it. So I randomly created this in Photoshop a couple days, a few days ago, um, and I thought it was cool enough to share with you guys. So what have I done? Well, you'll notice how I have all my layers already made, and that's just to simplify the tutorial and make it less of a mess for you guys to understand, so that way you can get it information-wise and understand it better. Okay? All right. Open your photo of choice, and I've chosen this lovely photo of Demi Lovato because she works well with this tutorial, but by all means, use whatever you like. Okay, once you've done so, you're going to then grab your lovely, um, you can grab the pen tool, you can grab this uh, lasso tool, or you can grab one of the magic wands or the quick selection. And you want to select just the person in your photo, or the subject, I should say. Once you have your photo or person in your thing selected, you'll do a control J and duplicate that layer. And that layer will be right here. Now, as you'll notice, mine is tinted just a bit. Now, what I've done on this particular layer that we've copied, I took um, image and adjustments and I went to the um, color balance and I adjusted the hue and sat uh, the hues, midtones, shadows, midtones, and highlights to suit the color of the background. The background of this photo is pink, so I kind of went with like a magenta y pinkish color. So do the very same for your photo. And once you've done so, click OK, and you'll have something kind of like that. Now, I went ahead to filter and sharpened it just a bit because I want to really have it crisp and clear. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I chose to. Alright, once I did that, I then pasted a new, made a new layer. And this new layer is a duplicated copy of our original layer, layer 1. Okay? And on layer 1, I went to filter... Oh, and before you do that, make sure black and white are in your swatches, FYI. Okay? You'll see why in a moment. You're going to go to filter, and let me make this clear. You'll, okay, you see that now. You're going to go to filter, and you're going to go over here to uh, pixelate. And you're going to pixelate, and you're going to select color halftone. And you're going to pick, um... You can use any you like. I'm just choosing this right here as a guideline. Um, but by all means, play around with it and see what's good to you. And I'll un... Yeah. So as you see, it's black and pink. And that's the color I chose for mine. I did say, however, in the beginning, use black and white in your swatches. You can do that. Or you can choose a black color and a pink color or whatever color that's in your background. That will work too, but black and white will also look pretty nice as well. All right, once you've done that, you're gonna then grab the magic. You're gonna grab the eraser tool, and you're gonna grab a soft round brush of large size. I chose 123, but it depends on the size of your photo, by the way. And then I erase just parts of it I don't want to have showing, so just like that. And then I chose overlay is my blend mode, and that's the effect I have as you see there pretty nifty. Now, I could have stopped there, but I thought, that's kind of lame. Let's really zazz it up and give it that cool look it needs. So I grabbed some random brushes that I found on my computer. Links in the description if you want them, or you can use your own, doesn't matter. And I just pasted some over here, and I chose overlay for, a, for this one here. This is one of those watercolor ones we used way back when. I still have all that in my computer, so I chose those and splashed some there. Overlaid it and used a 65% opacity on that one. And then I grabbed a couple, a few other ones, and I pasted these ones behind her so that she looks pretty cool. So as you'll notice, they're below our layer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I have some others too. And voila! It's like magic happened all over the place. Now, you can go ahead and drop your opacity on a few of these if you want. Just a little blend in a bit more. If you don't, that's cool too. Um, I chose to go around 90. 
90% for all of mine. Just to give it that nice blend, but not too blendy. And, yep, that's what I did. And that's my tutorial on that awesomeness. So, I hope it was kind of helpful in some way. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I apologize again for my horrible voice and my explanations I may have given you. Um, if you like what you see, hit my like button. If you want to see more awesome things such as this and other cool stuff, you can hit my subscribe button. I love new subscribers. Here at my channel, we are all Team Awesome. So if you want to be a part of this awesomeness that we call Team Awesome, then subscribe, like, and comment, and you'll be part of it. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.